The following is a fantasy rebuild. All and any of these trades and acquisitions are not designed to mimic real life in any way. Every acquisition is purely for fun and for the sake of entertainment. So if you get mad at me for trading in a video game, I would suggest you reassess your current situation because what, quite frankly, you're being cunty. You're being a little bit cunty. So if you would like to download my custom rebuild rosters that are edited with every team that I rebuild, there's a video on my channel that goes over every single setting I have for my rebuilds, including where to download the roster in the Madden 17 rebuilding playlist that will have every single team that I rebuild, and I will be rebuilding every single team. If you'd like me to rebuild a historic team, please replace that current team with the players from the historic roster and put the team's current players into free agency and tweet me at Bangle Designs with where to download the roster on Xbox One and be sure to follow me if you don't already. You guys have been destroying 500 likes recently, so let's try and stretch it to 600. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoy, and let's get right into the rebuild. What's going on guys and welcome back to another Madden NFL 17 rebuild, this time doing the Atlanta Falcons, but before we get into that, um, if you guys want to check out my second channel, link is in the description, I do other things on that channel not related to Madden, uh, and I'm also more active in my comment section due to uh, the fact that I get fewer comments, so if you guys want to subscribe, be active on that channel, if not, no point in subscribing if you're not going to watch the videos, um, just something, going to be top line in the description if you guys want to, but the Falcons are a very good young team. They have a bunch of really, really good players. Julio Jones, Desmond Trufant, Vic Beasley comes to mind. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do at quarterback just yet. Matty Ice is playing so well in real life, but I'm not sure with the whole regression system whether he's going to actually end up working out in, in the game. So let's get right into it. Let's do this roster breakdown. All right, so Matt Ryan, he is 31 years old with quick development. I think I, I really want to hold on to Matt Ryan, but I just... I don't know if it's a look. Justin Hardy's a 69 overall. Why? Is that Aldrick Robinson? He's off the team. Yeah, it is. Ugh. Jacob Tammy's too old. I mean, Ryan Schrader, I feel like, should be a better overall. Maybe he switches with Andy Levitre in overall. And I feel like he should be closer to an 85, to be honest. I don't know. It's kind of a weird team. And then defensively, they're just kind of a mess. Like, Robert Alford is not the answer. Jalen Collins, I don't even know. If he has quick development, maybe. Nah, he doesn't. Um, he is cool, but the D-line is just, uh, was it Grady Jarrett, Adrian Claiborne, Jonathan Babineau, Brooks Reed? Like, some of these players are just so gross. Tyson Jackson, oh, what a bust. Deion Jones is cool, Vic Beasley Jr., um, Kamal Ishmael, Ricardo Allen, I don't know what I'm gonna do. AJ Hawk is still in the league. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Oh my, AJ Hawk actually was really good at the Packers. He's 32 now, though. Damn. Alright, let's get into this. Keanu Neal's gonna start, by the way. I think he has quick development. Yeah, he does. This is a no-brainer. With my first trade, I'm gonna be taking apart this offensive line. Uh, and I guess, technically, Jacob Tammy could play in the line. But it's gonna be Andy Levitre, Ryan Schrader, and Jacob Tammy for Brandon Marshall from the Broncos. And, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna play him just yet. Probably at middle linebacker. Um, if I'm, I think they're in a three-four or an attacking four-three, which is basically the same thing. It's kind of confusing uh, in game with the schemes how everything plays. Like attacking three-four, the outside linebackers are still three-four outside linebackers, but I don't know. We'll see where he where he plays. I gotta figure it out. With this trade, I'm trading Jonathan Babineau, Brooks Reed, and a third-round pick for Tyler Eifert from the Bengals. I don't think I've ever traded for Tyler Eifert before, in Madden 17 at least. And uh, he's a very good tight end, and trying to get Matty Ice some more targets. And I think we're doing that. I mean, great running backs already. Good receiving core, for the most part, with Julio. Buck kind of stops there. Now he has at least somebody else. Mahabha Sanu is off the team. I'm going to be getting, hopefully, a better wide out. So, that's something to look forward to. Alright, I really do value picks in this game, and I don't often trade them, but I think the value here is good. Mohamed Sanu, Robert Alford, and a first-round pick this year for Fletcher Cox and Lane Johnson from the Falcons. Um, really need to upgrade that defensive line, and we're replacing uh, Ryan Schrader with a younger and better right tackle in Lane Johnson, so I think that works out pretty well for us. I just, I need to get some picks, dude. I value picks so much in this game. With this trade, I'm trading Adrian Claiborne, A.J. Hawk, and a second rounder next year for the first overall projected pick from the Browns. Uh, I really value picks. I might be trading another first rounder, though. Like, their probability is actually pretty high. 
With this trade, I'm trading Sean Weatherspoon, Matt Schaub, and a second round pick for another first round pick from the Browns. Um, that's probably the one I'm going to trade. And to add to the receiving targets that Matty Ice is going to have, Kamal Ishmael, Tom Compton, and a first round pick for AB84, Antonio Brown from the Pittsburgh Steelers, Julio, Tyler Eifert, Antonio Brown, Devontae Freeman, Matt Ryan. This offense continues to get better. 299 receivers. With this trade, I'm trading Ricardo Allen and Paul Worlow for the first round pick from the New York Giants. Um, I really want to get more picks. I just, I don't know how. With this trade, I'm trading Philip Wheeler, Mike Person, and a fourth for a first rounder from the Seattle Seahawks. With this trade, I'm trading Tyson Jackson, Devondre Campbell, and a third rounder next year for a first rounder from the Redskins. With this trade, I'm trading Ga uh, excuse me, Grady Jarrett, Derek Shelby, for a first rounder, projected number two overall from the Titans. And with this trade, I'm trading a fifth rounder this year, a fourth next year, and Rasheed Hagman for a first round pick from the Bills. And with my last trade, it's going to be Courtney Upshaw, Alex Mack, and a first rounder next year for two ones, one this year, one next year from the Bears. Um, Alex Mack, good, 30 years old, going to go down in overall. I can pick up a better center. I'm not sure if I want to do one right now. Um, I might. I don't know. All right, so this is going to be the roster for season number one. Uh, O-line's pretty shitty. I don't plan on doing amazingly. I think we might win the division, though. I mean, the team is really very solid. i got to figure out the logistics, but I'm not going to show you guys that right now. Uh, we're just going to get right into it, and I'll see you guys at the midseason mark. All right, so we're going to be 4-4 at the midseason mark. Um, kind of in the middle of the pack here in the NFC South. It's anyone's division. Panthers 3-4. and four. That's kind of a surprise. Um, looks like our man Patrick DeMarco is a free agent. Um, he's going to be. So is Chris Chester, Deshaun Goldson. I'm not going to bring any of those guys back, but Patrick DeMarco for sure. All right, welcome back, Patrick DeMarco. All right, so at the end of season... Number one, we went 8-8. Eight and eight. The Saints ended up winning the division at 9-9. Nine and nine. That's okay. I didn't expect to make the playoffs because I did kind of dismantle the offensive line, and that is a really integral part of any team. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check the stats. Matt Ryan, almost 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions. Rushing Devontae Freeman, almost 1,400 yards, 13 TDs receiving. Antonio Brown, almost 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Julio, 1,000 yards, and 10 touchdowns blocking. This is probably not going to be pretty. Uh, actually, not as bad as they thought it would be. Defensively, Brandon Marshall led our team at 153 tackles. Tackles for loss would be 14 from Fletcher Cox. We're getting, like, no pressure on the quarterback as Dwight Freeney leads our team with nine sacks. Interceptions, uh, five for Desmond Trufant, four for Brandon Marshall. Our team is playing better than I thought we would. Brandon Marshall, Deji, Latoye, and Robinson. Oof, tough. Led our team in fumble recoveries. Bunch of players, excuse me, in forced fumbles. Bunch of players had fumble recoveries. And then at least one defensive touchdown. We finished with two. Davis Tull and Desmond Trufant. Let's go ahead and look at awards. Yearly awards. Big Ben wins MVP. Le'Veon Bell at number two. That's a power duo right there. Um, NFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Matthew Stafford. Okay, any Falcons? Eli and AP. Okay. Devontae Freeman at number 10. Defense Player of the Year goes to DeAndre Levy. Brendan Marshall at number three. And then, holy shit. Chandler Jones, Daniel Buchanan, Clayus Campbell, Patrick Peterson, four Cardinals um, almost in a row here. KJ Wright separates. And then Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Ezekiel Elliott. No Falcons. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Keanu Neal. Hopefully, Sheldon Rankins. Keanu Neal at number three. Uh, that would have been clutch to win. His development may have been upgraded to Superstar, plus he'd get a ton of XP. Uh, but I will be upgrading our players using some of that Coach XP. Um in the next season but right now let's go ahead and simulate to the offseason hopefully we can draft some studs sign some amazing free agents if there are any always the goal all right so jason pierre paul's a free agent giants not pursuing i mean the redskins and the dolphins in hot pursuit i'm not gonna even try that at all i'm not really interested in any of the free agents so i guess we're just gonna go ahead and uh simulate to the scouting period and uh hopefully we can eventually draft some really good players we're going to need them. So here in the draft, we have the number one overall pick as well as the number three overall pick. And we have the 10th, 20th, 21st, 25th, and 27th pick here in the first round. Um, I might end up trading this pick. I don't think I want anyone at this top of the board. 
With this trade, I am trading the number one overall pick for two ones, one this year, one next year, um, and a second round pick. We're just trading back one spot with the Niners. We'll see what they end up taking. Um, if they take a safety, I won't really care. And they're going to take a right end, which means I'm probably going to take the safety now at number two. Tanny Gilliam out of Louisville. Good top three skills. Very well-rounded combine. Welcome to the team. 80 overall, number three in the entire draft. We took my number two. 89 speed, 88 hit power, 92 excel, 78 zone. Not a bad pick at all. Anytime you get anything close to an 80, solid pick. And I am backing that pick up with Dillard Gray. A tackle out of LSU. Might slide him inside a guard. We'll see how good he is. 80 overall superstar development. This draft is off to a great start. Number four in this draft. We took him at number three. 91 strength too. Dude, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Damn, this draft is going well so far. With this pick, I'm taking Lavone Mock. A 6'2 cornerback out of Penn State. Great top three skills. Welcome to the team. 79 overall with superstar development. And his overall is probably even higher. The number one player in the entire draft. We took him at number 10. And superstar development. What the fuck is going on? This draft is amazing so far. With this pick, I'm taking Aaron Germany, a 3-4 um, and out of Wisconsin. I'm probably going to slide him inside a defensive tackle. Um, although I am in a 3-4, so he's going to actually fit perfectly unless I decide to change again. But Aaron Germany, please. 78 overall with quick development. Oh, my God. What is going on? 86 strength, 84 cycle, 87 power move. Dude, I am drafting beast after beast after beast. And I think the next guy is going to be no different. Cornerback DeAndre Hoskins out of Oregon. B plus press, B plus zone, B minus man. He's really, really good. Fast two at a 4 4 7. Welcome to the team. 78 overall. We uh, drafted him at number 21. He is ranked in the top 11. I am super satisfied with this pick also. He's going to be an excellent slot corner for us. Damn, this draft is going really, really well. And with this pick, I am. Taking Ladera Strickland, a wide receiver out of Florida. 6-2. Good combine. I mean, 4-4-8 isn't bad at all. And good top three skills. Welcome to the team, Ladera Strickland. 71 overall with slow development. Okay. That is fucking horrendous. That is actually awful. Um, his stats don't look too bad. I don't know why he's such a low overall. But slow development is really just horrendous. That's really, really bad. I don't know if he's even going to play. Oh, that's the first bad pick of this entire thing, and it's it's pretty bad. I'm just going to come back with another cornerback, Reggie Hart out of Oklahoma. Great combine. Great top three skills. Welcome to the team. 78 overall, normal development. This draft is just insane so far. I might end up trading him, maybe for a rookie wideout. We'll see. But so far, this is... This is just going really, really well. I understand how good Tevin Coleman is, but this guy, Rashawn Edmonds, um, I think could be, could be even a better backup. Great top three skills. Great combine. Rashawn Edmonds, welcome to the team. 79 overall with quick development. He's ranked number nine. We took him at 34. 90 speed, 89 trucking. Dude, this draft is insane. So Matt Ryan is already regressing down to an 87 overall. Um, this whole getting older shit is, it's fucking annoying, because I don't need him going down two overall points, it's just not good. It's annoying. Like, I think this shit is fucking ridiculous. You're telling me Antonio Brown, right now, is losing catching and speed for playing one year at 29? Same thing with Julio, like, he, he's 28, and he's gonna lose fucking jumping like, and all this shit for getting older? It's stupid. As I said, Tevin Coleman's good, but we drafted that sick backup running back. Um, so, this is going to be Tevin Coleman, a fifth, and a second next year for the first round pick from the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm also looking to trade that cornerback, as I we don't really need four corners who are elite in simulation. With this trade, I'm trading Hart, that drafted cornerback, a first round pick this year, and a fourth rounder for Dontari Poe from the Chiefs, really needed a defensive tackle, and he fits the scheme perfectly in that 3-4 nose tackle position. And I uh, really like our chances of... Mm, I don't know what I want to say here. I think I think we're going to do well. You know what? Uh, fuck it. I'll, we'll make the playoffs. Maybe I should trade for a center and a right guard first, though. 
With this trade, I'm trading two first-round picks, one this year, one next year, and a third next year for Zach Martin and Lael Collins. Um, probably move Lael over to center. All right, so this is going to be the team for season number three. Uh, Justin Hardy is going to start in there in the uh, in the slot. O-line's looking nice defensively. Uh, it's looking better. Obviously, right outside linebacker is an issue. But uh, things are looking good for season number two here. I think we'll make the playoffs. So let's go ahead and go to the midseason. All right, so at the midseason mark, we are 5-3. and three. Antonio Brown is an impending free agent. We're at the top of the division, though, along with the Carolina Panthers. Um, let's go ahead and get Antonio Brown back on the team. That's going to be pretty important. Also, Zach Martin, Desmond Trufant, Devontae Freeman, Tyler Eifert, Jake Matthews, Lael Collins, all free agents. Oh, no. We got Antonio Brown back, though. Zach Martin coming back also. Desmond Trufant, welcome back. Devontae Freeman will remain in Atlanta Falcon. Same with Tyler Eifert. I can't negotiate with Jake Matthews now, so I'm just going to extend this offer to Lael Collins. He accepts, and we'll deal with Jake Matthews at the end of the season. All right, so at the end of season number two, we made the playoffs at 9-7, and seven, just barely. Oh, my God, the Panthers and Saints were also 9-7. and seven. We'll check out the stats. Hopefully somebody won Rookie of the Year. Matthew Stafford, 43. What? Matt Ryan, 4,300 yards, 29 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Not a great season, and he continues to go down in overall. Devontae Freeman, though, 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns. Rookie uh, Edmonds with six touchdowns of his own receiving. AB over a thousand yards, six TDs, thousand yards and seven TDs for Julio Jones, and then Justin Hardy with a thousand yards and ten touchdowns in the slot. Really, anyone could do that in the slot, I guess, in this game. Uh, defensively, Brendan Marshall led the team in tackles, 145 tackles for loss, 17 from Poe, 16 from Cox. QB sacks, 11 and a half for Fletcher Cox, eight for rookie Aaron Germany. Interceptions, four for Desmond Trufant, three for rookie Lavone Mock. Where's the other? DeAndre Hoskins got two. Keanu Neal with two. Force fumbles. Three for Josh Keys. Fumble recoveries. Two from Dantari Poe. And then defensive touchdowns. One from Desmond Trufant. He got one last year, too. Checking out yearly awards. Aaron Rodgers wins MVP. No Matt Ryan. NFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Aaron Rodgers. Devontae Freeman got in there at number eight. Defensive Player of the Year. Jalen Smith. Nice. Um, Brandon Marshall in there at number 8. And now for the big stuff. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Rashawn Edmonds. There you go. Our running back. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year, the one that really, really matters. Brett Buckner gets it. Lavone Ma coming in second. Aaron Germany at fourth. DeAndre Hoskins at sixth. At sixth. Tani Gilliam at seventh. Damn, man. Couldn't do it. Couldn't win it. But I'm going to upgrade players. And then I'll see you guys for the divisional round. So we have the Lions. We're in 87 overall to their 86 overall. I don't know if we'll be able to beat them. Man, I just Matt Sa actually Matt Ryan at QB. In real life, he's better than this. He just is. I don't know why he's going down so quickly in overall. I might even have to draft a quarterback. All right, guys. So it looks like we're gonna take this game. Oh my God, that was close. 28 to 23 over the Detroit Lions. And we are now moving on to the divisional matchup in the NFC. Uh, hopefully we can pull it out. I don't think we're going to win the Super Bowl this year. I just don't think we have the sauce. All right, so we have the Cowboys in the divisional. Not going to be an easy matchup. They went 12-4. and four. Ugh. They're only an 84 overall, and we're an 80, 89 overall. Sorry, I'm still sick. My throat is still a little bit eh. Hopefully we can beat them. We should be able to. We got five overall points on them. So this was pretty much a route. They stopped our offense literally one time. We're going to win 42-14. to 14. Damn. I mean, I guess Dak Prescott was their starting quarterback. Yeah, he was. I mean, Matty Ice, four touchdowns, 350 yards. We're moving on to the NFC Conference Championship. So here we are in the Conference Championship against the Seattle Seahawks. Going to be our toughest matchup so far. You know they're going to be a 90-plus overall probably. And they're going to be a 92 overall to our 89 Hopefully we can pull it out though. Super Bowl year two would be really nice. I just don't think we have the team yet. No, it was so close for so long, but we're gonna lose here. Oh, it was so close. Forty-one to thirty-five is your final score here in the NFC Conference Championship. Uh, and it Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson. Why the fuck can't I say his name? Threw for five 
touchdowns. And, I mean, that just proves our young secondary just wasn't equipped to handle the Seahawks offense. But um, this can be a learning experience. We have 99 offense, 87 defense. We should be ready next year. Next year, I predict big things. It's just the situation at quarterback is far, far worse than I think you guys might realize. Totally forgot about Jake Matthews, but we are re-signing him now at the end of the season. Uh, that would have been a huge blow if we would have lost him. That was our last chance to do so. Hopefully there are some good free agents. I think year three is going to be a very good year for us. Just got to sure up uh, a last few couple of holes. Ooh, wide receiver is one of those holes, and so is outside linebacker. We have Jeremiah Tachu, and we have Brandon Cooks. I'm going after both of these guys. So Jeremiah Tachu and Brandon Cooks are both now Atlanta Falcons. The wide receiver core, this receiving core is the best I've ever had. I'm literally going to change the title of my Bears rebuild to something else because I had a, like elite receiving core in there. This is the best receiving core ever. Julio, Brandon Cooks, Antonio Brown, and Tyler Eifert. The O-line looks really, really nice. And then defensively with Jeremiah Tachu now in there, a right outside linebacker. I mean, this team is looking really, really good. Damn, Lavone mocks up to an 85 overall. Yeah, we're looking really, really good here. But my main concern offensively, Matt Ryan, I think it's actually a really huge issue. So in the draft, we have the number one overall pick. I can literally take whoever I want right now. And um, what the fuck are the Orlando Wizards, dude? What the fuck is that? Do I trade this pick? I don't know yet. All right, with this pick, I'm trading down with the Ravens to number four and uh, picking up another one next year and a two this year. And uh, I'm probably going to be drafting a quarterback at number four. Two quarterbacks off the board. Luckily, it was not the one I wanted. This is the one I want. Jeffrey Mallett out of Texas. Hook'em horns that I mention. Great top three skills. Good combine, please. 78 overall with superstar development. That superstar development is what I care about. He is starting over Matt Ryan. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. Matt Ryan is going down in overall. I think Jeffrey Mallett can get even higher than Matt Ryan has a potential to be. So that's why I'm doing that trade. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I, I think it makes a ton of sense to me. So, And now I'm trading down this pick in the second round for a first rounder next year from the Colts. Um, and that's going to do it for this draft. I think it went pretty well. And Vic Beasley just was not progressing at a good enough rate. So with this trade, it's going to be Matt Ryan, Vic Beasley, and a first-round pick for Aaron Lynch from the 49ers, 90 overall. He's going to slide into that outside linebacker position perfectly for Vic Beasley. I love Vic Beasley, but Aaron Lynch in this game right now is an upgrade. So uh, things are going pretty well. I think we're going to make the playoffs. That rookie quarterback is going to lead us to the promised land. Could he win MVP as a rookie? That offense is so, so good. It's, it's entirely possible, to be honest. So here on the offensive side of the ball, we're looking really nice. I mean, Mallett's got the start. He's up to an 80 overall after the preseason. Devontae Freeman, not Devonta. It's not whichever way you want to say it. It's one way. It's not interchangeable. Devontae Freeman is up to a 93. The receiving core is phenomenal. And let's go ahead and check out the defensive side of the ball. With this trade, I'm trading Austin Hooper a fifth and a second next year for the number one overall projected pick from the 49ers, and I will be using this in a blockbuster trade coming up soon. So I do love Jeremiah Tachu, but that's Von Miller. <laughs> so I'm trading Jeremiah Tachu and two first-round picks for Von Miller from the Broncos. He's going to come in and play outside linebacker, hopefully get a ton of sacks, um, at least make a big impact out there. So, yeah, he's going to be that last piece of the defense that's fitting right in. Aaron Lynch going to go play right outside linebacker and other than that i will see you guys at the mid-season mark hopefully our rookie quarterback is playing out of his mind with the pieces that we have put in place around him he should be able to holy shit i was simulating and i just looked up and we're eight and fucking oh no way and jerome does his thing on his channel jerome pkr his link is always in the description where he shows if he's cheating or not not why would i all these games were actually really, really close. One touchdown games, pretty much, for the most part. And even less so. But we are undefeated with a rookie quarterback. That's insane. 
if this would be my first undefeated season ever in a video with a rookie QB, oh, that'd be insane. I'm going to upgrade, not going to bother re-signing, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we have our first undefeated season ever in a video. All right, guys, I have not yet seen our record. I'm going now. Just finished simulating. 13-3. and three. Okay, we're not going to go undefeated. Crazy start, though, with a rookie quarterback going 13-3. and three. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. And uh, we're going to have Jeffrey Mallett. Oh, my God. 4,600 yards almost. Four, or should be 49 touchdowns, only 14 interceptions rushing. Devontae Freeman, 1,600 yards, 14 touchdowns. Rashawn Edmond with 9. Receiving Antonio Brown, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Julio, almost 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. And look at all these receivers with 9 touchdowns. Tyler Eifert, Brandon Cooks, Devontae Freeman with 9 touchdowns as well. Blocking QB sacks are fairly low. Um, defensively, our team was led in tackles by Brandon Marshall with 123. Tackles for loss would be 13 from Fletcher Cox and Dontari Poe. Um, QB sacks, we have 11.5 for Aaron Germany and 11.5 for Von Miller. But he also had 89 tackles. Something The scheme messed up, dude. I uh, changed it to an attacking 3-4. I might just do base 3-4 or change it to a 4-3 because I don't know what formation I have to do in order to get my outside linebackers only rushing the passer. But interceptions, nine picks for Brandon Marshall. Nine, what the fuck? That's defensive player of the year. Seven for Desmond Trufant. Three for both Gilliam and Keanu Neal. Um, forced fumbles, we have one for a handful of players. Fumble recoveries, only two in the entire team. Any defensive touchdowns, we've had one from Desmond Trufant every year. And none this year. Let's go ahead and check out awards as we have the most yards in the NFL. And Jeffrey Mallett, our quarterback, uh, me, wins rookie of the year. He's a 91 overall. Devontae Freeman um, in second place. That is absolutely crazy. NFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Devontae Freeman. Jeffrey Mallett at number two. That makes no sense to me. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year does go to Brandon Marshall. Of course it does. How could it not? Von Miller in there at number eight. Offensive Rookie of the Year, obviously. Jeffrey Mallett, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Shaman Ajira Tutu. Okay. Damn. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> Mallett has 77,000 XP. And yeah, I was, uh, since we were undefeated, I were undefeated for up until the midseason mark, um, I was upgrading him a little bit as we went, but couldn't finish undefeated, unfortunately. I'm about to upgrade, though. Jeffrey Mallett is up to a 99 overall. As a fucking rookie, hook him fucking horns, dude. Jeffrey Mallett, what a fucking beast. I got him up to 99 deep, 99 medium, 96 short. Oh my, like, he's a, he's a fucking monster. And this is going to be the defense. It's fucking sick. The safeties are up nearing 90 overall. Mock is up to an 87. The defensive line's looking really good. We should have a really good chance to do well in the playoffs. We're now going to simulate until the divisional championship round and see who we take on. Washington Redskins, okay. Should be able to beat them fairly easily. They can't have a good team as we do. What overall are we even? 96. Oh my god. That's yo, that's definitely tied for that's either tied for or the best overall I've ever had for a team. 96 is fucking insane for Madden 17. The score was 28 nothing at one time. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what is happening? This is going to be the biggest choke in playoff history. Oh my god, no way. Oh, we're about to lose this game, that's crazy. Just please, defense, just stop them. Just stop them, please. If, he's, if they score a touchdown, is the game over? Yeah, they scored a touchdown. That's the game, right? Yeah, that's the game. <laughs> I swear to you, we were up 28 nothing. I'm like, damn, this game was easy. What happened? Look. Oh, my God. This game's fucking ridiculous. What even happened? What even happened? Oh. <laughs> Choke. I'll do, I'll do a season four. That's just... What? Like, come on. Uh, I'm just not going to sign Justin Hardy. I don't have the money to, believe it or not, and I don't have any draft picks, so we're just going to go to the next season. And um, if we could go undefeated, that would be amazing. Again, would be the first time ever in a video 
Even in Madden 16, never did it because simulation was fucking garbage in that game. Madden 17, I've come really close for videos. I've done it once in a stream against Jerome, but other than that, I've never, ever done it. Could this finally be the chance that we need? It could be. Please, can we do it? Also, I know earlier I said that this video would be titled about this amazing receiving core, but that was before Jeffrey Mallet. So much has changed. He was a 99 overall in his rookie year. He won MVP in his rookie year. Going into his second season, he's already a 99 overall. He's the best player in the fucking game. This video is going to be titled Madden 17 Rebuilding the Chicago Bears. Or Madden 17 Connection Franchise Rebuilding the Chicago Bears. No, it's not. That's not the fucking team. Rebuilding the Atlanta Falcons. The legend of Jeffrey Mallet. His last name may be Mallet, but he brings down the fucking hammer. What a great pun. I'll see you guys at the midseason mark. So here we are at the midseason mark. If it's wanna it's gonna wanna load here. I don't think we're gonna be undefeated. I think that was just like, you know, lucky one time deal. We're six and one. Uh that's unfortunate. At the top of the division at least. Let's go ahead and check real quick who beat us. I mean we beat the Buccaneers. And if we check out team schedule. Uh, we dropped the L to the Tennessee Titans. Okay. This team is so fucking weird, dude. We're either the best team in the NFL, and then we're going to choke in the Redskins, or choke to the Redskins to the playoffs, and uh, not even go undefeated here with such a monstrously amazing team and a 99 overall QB. I'll see you guys in the playoffs. So at the end of season number four, we went 13-3 and three again. Season stats, Jeffrey Mallett, 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. Definitely not as good as his first rookie season, but not bad. The Devontae Freeman, oh my god, 1,800 yards and 24 TDs. Rashawn Edmonds with 11 as well, receiving uh, only one 1,000-yard receiver. That'd be Brandon Cooks. No double-digit touchdown receivers blocking, had we all do. That's too many sacks for Jake Matthews. 13, way too many. Um, tackles would be 116 for Brandon Marshall. Tackles for loss would be 20. From Duntari Poe. I changed the scheme to base 3-4. And I guess we got some different guys in here blitzing more often. I don't know. Aaron Germany, 15 and a half sacks. So interceptions, four for Desmond Trufant, three for Keanu Neal. Forced fumbles, we have two for Keanu Neal and Brandon Marshall. Fumble recoveries, two from Keanu Neal led the team. Any defensive touchdowns? I don't see any. We didn't have any. Let's go ahead and check out awards real quick. Devontae Freeman gets MVP. Wow. That's pretty cool. Jeffrey Mallet in there at number five. He's he's a beast. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, of course, goes to Devontae Freeman. Jeffrey Mallet, again, in there at number five. Defense Player of the Year goes to Bobby Wagner. Uh, Von Miller in there at number six. Brandon Marshall at number eight. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Samuel Sinclair for the Giants. Um, and Defensive Rookie of the Year, A.J. Spann for the Bears. But I assume we have a first round bye. Uh, and we do, so I'll see you guys in the divisional. I'm going to upgrade, and hopefully we're not going to fucking choke in the playoffs. This is the team going into the divisional matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. Um, bunch of really good players out there. Obviously, some players have regressed. Antonio Brown, Julio. Um, and that's kind of about it on the offensive side of the ball. But on the defensive side of the ball, again, looking fantastic. Both safeties at 90 overall plus. LB core is awesome. D-line is pretty nice as well. Mock is up to an 89 overall with confidence. We should be able to beat the Seahawks. In fact, I'm confident we'll be able to. We are a 97 overall. That's my new best. However, that can't take the title. Because it's it's the legend of Jeffrey Mallet. I was looking down. I didn't see what happened. Oh, we beat the Seahawks 31-28. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Too busy on Twitter. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, shameless plug, twitter.com slash Designs. Link is in every single one of my videos please follow me i tweet out some funny things occasionally <laughs> 99 offense 99 defense 97 overall there we go here we are in the conference championship against the philadelphia eagles almost just simulated i want to go in there so uh i think we should be able to beat the eagles they are an 82 overall to our 97 that might be the biggest overall gap we've seen so far but um here we go all right so that's going to do it for this game 31 to 10 is the final score 
Jeffrey Mallett continues to impress with an excellent completion percentage. 200 plus yards, a couple of touchdowns in there as well. So uh, we are now headed to the Super Bowl under a second year quarterback. Former MVP, Jeffrey Mallett. Our Super Bowl matchup is against the last team that we rebuilt. The Baltimore Ravens, they went 9-6-1. They cannot be anywhere near our level. 83 overall. Give me a fucking break. Obviously, got to throw on the color rush. Um, and then those are going to be... They look like the Buccaneers should be wearing them instead. And then we'll do the Ravens as well. They're kind of, in my opinion, gross. Can we get to them, please? Yeah. This, eh, they're just... They're not my favorite. Um, but yeah... Should be able to beat the Ravens and win the Super Bowl with a second-year QB. I think it was the right move to start him over Matt Ryan. What do you Falcons fans think? All right, so that's going to be the game. It looks like 41-24 to 24 is your final score. That unintentionally rhymed, but I noticed it pretty soon after I said it. The Atlanta Falcons are Super Bowl champions. And um, Jeffrey Mallett is the greatest draft pick I've ever had um, 99 overall in his rookie season one MVP in his rookie season um, won the Super Bowl in his second season this Falcons rebuild despite winning it in season number four instead of three or two or wherever I would say it went well Devontae Freeman 184 yards in the touchdown gets the Super Bowl MVP nod and um I feel like Jeffrey Mallett could have used that accolade, but in two years of playing in the NFL, he has Rookie of the Year, MVP, he's a Super Bowl winner. Jeffrey Mallett already arguably has a stake in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> it was just those couple of accolades, but yeah, Julio's happy, Mallett's happy, Marshall's happy, everyone out there, obviously Devontae Freeman. As Jeffrey Mallett hoists the Lombardi Trophy. But that's going to do it here for me. Super Bowl champions are the Atlanta Falcons. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.